well, it's a peculiar line, I have to say. So, sacrificing a pawn that early in the game. Uh, you know, Kiev seems to be ready for this scenario. He plays pretty fast. So, what do we have here? It, it's like knight a3 uh, playing very fast. That's... Well, not not the most usual line, I have to say. But yes. I think I think if Black does that, I and mean, well, actually after second move a3, the move which was played in our game, I think g6 is a recommended move for Black because if Black does all that, I think White is kind of happy. He gets what he wants. He sacrifices. He gets these two uh, files, a b files, and also mm, very yeah. stable center. And well. The leading development is also one very important thing because, yeah, at the moment it looks like black is even better developed, but white mm -hmm. will win some tempi for sure. Yeah, because of this queen on d5 queen on is d5, never yeah. good in the center. Some knight b5 moves are possible, yeah, threatening knight c7. Bishop f5 played by Inner Kiev. Uh, well, knight b5 is a possibility to threaten the fork on c7. He can also start developing, you know, just like knight f3. And he will win those tempi bishop later C4. on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Knight f3 Castle. to start with, then bishop c4 with a tempi. Knight b5. Well, knight b5. He simply wants to fork on c7. Yeah, well, that's and an Black attempt to... Black is forced to, to play rook c8. Yeah, but this is an attempt to kind of win immediately by Magnus Carlsen, right? Knight yeah. b5. But he needs a real follow-up to this one, which I'm not sure he okay, has. Okay, now this a pawn on a7 is uh, poison. Probably because rook can come back on ah, e8. Ah, you mean if, if the knight yeah. takes on a7, rook a8, knight can come back to b5 as well. But yeah, it, it's a tricky uh, tricky situation. I, I don't think his plan is to take the pawn, eh, honestly. Yes. I don't think his plan is to take the pawn. Some bishop e3 maybe. Or, uh, or maybe knight some check first from e4 and then the same scenario. Ah, you, mean, you mean for black? For yeah. Black, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, Magnus has started to think that early in the game. Yeah, once again, I have to say this. It's really, really tough for the players. It will be tough for the players, especially in the first rounds, to readjust mm -hmm. from, yeah, you know, playing the rapid from yesterday. And especially when they get to play on increment, because the increment is no mm. longer 10 seconds, but only two. And this time control is really tricky. Uh, two seconds, it's you have increment, but still it's really not big time yeah well it's it's uh, yeah i mean on one hand you cannot really lose on time if you have like simple winning positions so mm -hmm. you you should be able to mate with an extra rook you know so that's oh, he well took he actually it. takes he, took he it. actually takes now we'll see i mean rook a8 at least white i oh, know yeah not b5 I, I guess that's the that's the whole point rook uh, a8 knight comes back to b5 if queen, queen e4. e4 check bishop e3 and the rook is protected i think All that's right. the point magnus castle tries to make well what i'm worried about a bit more if black simply takes on a7 rook a7 and then starts to develop because in this case black actually will be better developed it's like knight takes a7 he'll take with the rook and then some knight f6 or e6 to start with and he I'm really surprised he's taken e7, even if it was the first what, what came he's also, to my mind. Yeah, look, he's also down to 1 minute 14, which is, well, you expect uh, players to have a little bit more time if you're talking about the blitz and only 10th move mm -hmm. for white. So it's move number 10, knight a7, he, he has used two-thirds of his time for this game. Uh, but now it's in, in Kiev's turn to think. So maybe that will be... They were Ma about to equal the time right yeah, now. Yeah, that's equal. That will be, I guess, Magnus's policy for, for this tournament. So play unbalanced position, try to put some pressure right from the start. Some unusual openings. We, we are, yeah, I think we, we will see some unusual openings from the world champion. Uh, well, as to... If you want to speak for about the favourites, it's really, really tough to mention. I mean, who is the favourite in this tournament? Uh, uh, the, the obvious ratings. reply is yeah. The obvious reply is the top seed Magnus Carlsen, but you have the current World Blitz champion Karyakin in mm -hmm. the field. You have Maxim Vasiliev Graf, who is known to be terribly strong in blitz. Uh, the shorter the time control is, the better Maxim Vasiliev Graf chances look. Uh, well, on board two we have Levon Aronian, who mm -hmm. won a very strong event in St. Louis. I think in blitz with all those guys playing. Yeah. Uh, Karyakin is uh, number three. By rating, yeah, so by rating and Vashia follows. Vashia, Dingley Ran, Ivanchuk. 
and Ivanchuk is very high. Yeah. That's interesting. I've announced that Artemiev is very high on the list. Well, not number two, but number eight. Number Artemiev eight. is on number eight. In yeah. top ten. It's okay, we've missed a few big. moves. And look, in Artemiev is down to 18 seconds only. So an exchange on E7 happened. Then in Arkiev has played E5, E5 yes. opening the center, Magnus went with knight f3, exchange on d4, and now bishop d7, prophylactical move against bishop b5 check. Mm -hmm. So white's problem and, uh, is... It's very hard to develop this bishop yeah, from f1 exactly. and castle, and, uh, exactly. because the bishop from g2 f1 pawn is hanging. It's not that easy to develop. I mean, he might even want bishop e2 still. Mm -hmm. Bishop e2 with the point that if queen takes on g2, it's bishop f3. Ah, uh, knight b5. Knight goes on b5. Now so another second, knight goes. It's a second knight on b5 yes. in this game. Queen exchange. Queen exchanged, and we get some end game. Now this bishop press on g2, okay, but bishop d3 is the good move, I guess. Bishop, uh, c5, bishop c5 very c5 quickly. Bishop c5 attacking the rook on a7. Now it's the moment you want to give a check, right? Mm -hmm. And see where the king is going. After knight e7. Now rook is hanging, rook has... Rook is still here. Ah, oh, no, bishop a3, brilliant move. Wow. Bishop a3, rook d8, uh, brilliant move, but white is still not very... Knight on I d4 mean, is okay. a very nice square for knight. He's comfortable now, yeah, king c2, but so is in Archive's position, I would say. Mm -hmm. So is in Archive's position, I would say. Ah, oh, well, rook a7, so now if the pawn on g2 is hanging, uh, if, if the pawn yeah, is taken... Yeah, f3 probably. Probably f3, right, rook e8, Also very rook practical g1 decision. was a possible... Rook eight, practical decision. Uh, the black is already down the, uh, down yeah. to six seconds. It's a very short time. Uh, the position is roughly equal, but now, yeah, the time is the mm -hmm. major factor. Rook to b8. Yeah, and, and, and in blitz, you know, you don't want to take on c6. You prefer knights over bishops, that's I'm sure. Now he takes, because it was a blunder, now on king c6, oh, there is bishop b5 bishop check. B5. King b6. <laughs> it's not that Rook takes b7 is a possibility. Well, white wins the... Yeah, rook yes. takes b7. White wins a p uh, pawn like this. It's an illegal move, knight a3. It's an oh illegal oh move. That's incredible. God. I mean, what, what has cheap. happened? What it's has happened? A Carlson loss in this case. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's really. double I mean, illegal in move. Kiev, in our Kiev played an illegal move. Carlson should Kiev? stop the clock. If he plays another move, that means it's illegal. Really? Yeah, he lost, he lost. Really? Yes. So Inarkiev won the game like yes. this, you mean? Yes, I think. That's, I think. that's incredible. Oh my god. That's really incredible. Yes. I mean, that's it.